Welcome to Next Level Toys. We have made it to the local thrift store. And uh, we're going to go through all these bags. There's something I already see already. We're going to see what we can find here and we'll be back. We're at Goodwill and look what we just found. A big bag of cars for $3. I see a vintage truck in there. I'm definitely going to yoink these. This is why I like Goodwill. Uh, is this a bowling wall? Dollar ninety-nine. I gotta look it up. But I'm going back. It looks like a little mini bowling ball. Oh, awesome! We're back at the local thrift store. This is our second trip here because we didn't get enough for a video last time. And check this out. Ben, I know you're going to like this. There's two bags of Hot Wheel Big Riggers here. And, uh, it looks like these are little micro machines in here. I'm going to keep on looking see if we can find anything else. And we'll be right back. Welcome, guys, to Next Level Toys. We have something we haven't done for a while. Like, what, two or three months? But we're back at it. We made it to the thrift store, went twice to get enough bags. We even went to a couple of Goodwill stores and we even found some Hot Wheel cars. So let's get started with the simple bag here. Uh, this was uh, just 99 cents. So uh, this is like a vintage Tonka, I think. I know it's old. A big Bigfoot, uh, Ben. Uh, hope you like this video because there's a bunch of Bigfoots or monster trucks in here, I should say. So, here is the big bruiser. Yeah, it's definitely dirty. <laughs> Looky there. I had a toy like this when I was a kid. I'd put my G.I. Joe's in here in the cockpit here, in the driver's seat. There's a nice big dead spider in there. This is a Buddy L. 1984, made in Hong Kong. Right there. Now that, that's a nice piece for 99 cents. What do you think? A dollar? And then this thing was in there too. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Looks like a little garbage compactor. Also, something weird. We've seen in Goodwill, $1.99. It's a heavy, heavy ball. And uh, while I was in Goodwill, I kind of cheated and looked it up, the name. It says Hakeloo, whatever. It turns out to be what I suspected. It's a bowling ball for smaller pins, duck pin bowling, yeah. So that was only two bucks. Uh, it looks like it'd be worth a little bit more than that, so, so far so good. That was at the Goodwill store. I just want to show you all that because I want to get it out of the way. Alright, let's get some Bigfoots here. Some monster trucks. This was, hmm, two forty nine or two ninety nine. I can't tell. Got all kinds of monster trucks in here. There is, first off. Ben, if you know, uh, made in China. It looks like one of the reversibles. I don't see a brand name on it. It is pretty neat, though. Oh, it's one of them. It's a mud ride. There it is. I'm gonna get out of there. Captain's Curse. This is not Hot Wheels. Uh, oh boy. Another wind up. I'm not much into those. Truthfully. Uh, there's the Avengers. And let me guess. Yeah. Another motorized. <laughs> well, guys, I don't know what this is. This is intended for 14 and over. There's a little tiny four wheeler. And there's a gigantic wooden uh, 
monster truck here. It's the dog. I forgot his name, but yeah, monster mutt. Someone actually made this. Lowe's Build and Grow. I don't know if that's actually made by somebody or what, but it's pretty neat. It's different. Uh, we bought this because I wanted to save these things before someone would probably just throw them away. You'll see why here in a second, but oh boy, I paid <laughs> uh, I paid three ninety five for this. I probably shouldn't have even done that. Uh, there is um, a BMW convertible in here. Actually, it's missing a rubber tire. This is by Majesto or Maestro, whatever you want to call it. Other than that, it's not bad. Might both find a rubber door, but I probably won't go through that effort. Probably just end up donating it. Looks like someone wrecked it. It's got some paint chips. I saw this in here though. This is a Dutch boy uh, rig. It's all metal. And then uh, there's another one in here. It's missing the top part, most likely. But this is a set of kind of, some kind. They don't have a name on it or nothing. I thought it might have been green light or something. If y'all know, uh, hit me up. I don't know what we might be able to do with those. I think we might be able to use them in the background for future videos. Because they, they are about 164 scale. That's the main reason I really wanted them. But uh, had I known it was $4, I probably wouldn't have done it. Because uh, here's a PT Cruiser with no rubber tires at all. Oh, there's one. Oh, same wrong size tire. So I was going to sacrifice it. Never mind. So this was at the Goodwill store. Uh, $2.99. I was really surprised. We had my son with me and I just happened to glance on top of the thing and see a whole bag of cars for three dollars couldn't pass that up first off we have a scooter by Majesto interesting looking car then we have a Hot Wheels everybody knows that car the checkered little van done in Art Deco a PBDRT Maestro, little mini car. Let me just dump these up. Yeah. If not, I'll be here all day digging for these awesome cars. There's a Matchbox uh, little farm trailer here. Definitely newer. For $3, that's what we gave for these. NGK spark plugs. I actually worked there for about 15 months. Right here in West Virginia. Uh, tested oxygen sensors. Besides the spark plug building. That was an interesting job. I did enjoy it. There's a Chevy Camaro SS by Maestro. That is a pretty looking, good looking car for that brand. This is a Maestro. I have one of these, I can tell. It's a bus with a bent axle. There's a Hot Wheels, the Drifter. And, uh, ooh, what's this? This is, um, I believe a Johnny Lightning Ford Mustang 65. Looks like it's Johnny Lightning. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like something they would do. Nice older. Not too old, but nice cool little casting there. Nissan Skyline Hot Wheels. It's a tad rough. In the yellow, though. That's my first yellow one. Ooh, a vintage Hot Wheels. Ta-da. We got an older vintage solid metal Hot Wheels here. This is late 80s, early 90s. If it said Hong Kong, definitely 80s. I'd say this is definitely like early mid nineties. There's a most armored maestro. 
far. I got to hurry up and get through this. We have a bunch of bags here. Hot Wheels. Land Cruiser. Yeah, I know I'm not a fan of the plastic bodies. Other than for race cars. There's a bunch of cars in here. There's another Hot Wheels Shredder. Shredster. Whatever you want to call it. Interesting casting. There's another Hot Wheels rig in here. Let's just fly through these a little bit faster here. <laughs> There's an El Cheapo. This is an older one. Another Maestro. What is going to call a Maestro? It's a Studebaker. It looks like a Lowrider. Hot Wheels. This is a brand new one. Plastic body. Now, I will keep this. Anyone that's in really new, nice condition, brand new like this, we're keeping them for future shows. We're getting ready to start very soon. There's a, this is a vintage Hot Wheels. This is mid late 90s. And this is Power Pipes. Plastic body. Another Hot Wheels. This is a Nissan 300ZX. It looks like it's in nice shape too. So that's a keeper. Keep an autumn. I always keep all the cars. There's a skyline here. Ta -da, I definitely love my skylines. It's silver and black. Another Hot Wheels. There's a bunch of Hot Wheels in here. Very old knockoff car. That's from my childhood. I played with those when I was a kid. So that's at least... Got some age on there. My Maestro police car. Never seen a police car look like this though. What's wrong with those headlights? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's broken. Uh, goofy me. Lamborghini Maestro. Okay. So all those were $3. That's better than what we did over here, I believe. Now uh, Ben, here you go. Here's some light. This is something I think is up your alley. 379. Let's see that. This is monster trucks. This is more like what I like to collect. I like collecting this scale. We have Under Madness. Most of these should be Hot Wheels. I don't know what the heck is wrong with that wheel. I don't know if that's fixable or not. You can see it's off the rim, so we might try to fix that. I mean, I will give it a try, but... Oh. It's, just, it's just slightly bent. Yeah, I got another monster truck. Now, this ain't dirt. It looks like it. And, uh... Airborne Ranger. I like this casting. It's pretty. Bounty Hunter. This is Hot Wheels. But uh, it looks kind of like a Happy Meal toy. It's all plastic. There is a weird bike here. Oh no. Not another one of those. But it has red lines. Look at that. This is obviously a McDonald's Happy Meal toy most likely. Transformer. We have the Heartbreaker. Again, with kind of jacked up wheels. We can easily fix these wheels. I'll give it a try. That's off the rim, too. I like the pink body. There's a four wheeler here. That might be G.I. Joe size. Have to test her out one day. And uh, here is the Grave Digger. Oh, no. This is... I don't know if that's Grave Digger or not. What do you think? <laughs> is that a copycat or what? At least the wheels are good. One more in here. Uh, whoever played with these? It's pretty brutal. But... 
it's off the rim too, but we can fix that one easy enough. These are not cheap, they're like five, six bucks in the stores or more. That's the way I bought them. And plus they're cool. Now here's the bag I've been waiting to get into. It has everything. Uh, $2.99. I mean, I, when I say everything, it's, it looks like it has everything in here. This is why I like going to the thrift store. And first off, there's this gigantic uh, Animal Planet submarine. Let's not get into the submarine thing here. That was a sad, tragic thing. There's a claw. Uh, there's a football. Plastic knife. Don't need that. Some binoculars for peeping. Don't need that either. There is a transformer in here. It's the Camaro. Bumblebee. It's got tape. Someone taped it with the instructions, so that's a nice little find. So at least we, at least we know it's all there. Now, uh... There's a cup crazy. That's a glass cup in a plastic container. Old gumball machine. Now here's the good stuff. Possibly. I don't know. We got Toad. I love Mario Brothers. My son really loves it too. So we got a Toad. These are not cheap by any means. There's a... I don't know what that is. There's a little car... This looks like a micro machine. It really does look like a vintage micro machine. We have a shy guy. Check that out. Shy guy. Uh, we have a Koopa. We're missing the head. This is a Lego figure. God. Someone like ate him up. His shell's gone and everything. So that's what these are. These are Legos. Lego figures. Because so here's a Mario. We actually have one of these. So I can give this one to my son. So he has one. He has the fancier ones that actually lights up and sings and interacts with these little gizmos and whatnot. Wish they had that when he was a kid. And uh, there's another little car that is not Micro Machine. Now these are what I was kind of curious about. 2012 Jacks. Okay, so they're not old. I know there's green figures from the 80s. That's definitely not what these are. It's a bunch of pirates. I was hoping that they was the older figures because they were worth a lot of money. But there's some pirates. You know, 10 years old or so. A couple aliens. Probably glow in the dark. There's Yoshi's head. Uh oh. There's Mario's head. Oh hey, okay. Here's Yoshi's body, so there we go. Okay, we got Yoshi. At least he's complete. There's Mario. We actually have another Mario. Me, Mario. It's me. Couple parts. Sorry for boredom here. There's another. Toad, but he's blue. We also got this cool guy who is in Bowser Castle. Uh, I can't remember his name. Skull or something or other. This is a vintage micro machine. I recognize it because I have a bunch of these. That's definitely cool. There's another shy guy. Uh, there's a bunch of minions in here. There's another original Micro Machines. Road Champs 1987. So Road Champs made some too. A race car. Looks like Micro Machines. 1994. Nice. Let's get her out of here. There's another Yoshi head with another body. These are not cheap, so I'm definitely pleased with these. And there's a Luigi in here. My first Luigi. I never ever find him. So there's Luigi. And we got some little 
rubber cars from the movie Cars. These are rubber. There's a Frankenstein. A rubber fish. Another monster or a little mini truck here. Sorry, a little sidetrack because uh, I did find Koopa. There's his head. And here is his shells and wings. And uh, ironically, there's his hand. So uh, he's all here too. Koopa! And one more minion. So that whole bag was, what, three dollars? All right, we're back. I had to make a little bit of room here for the other bags. Now this here, this won't take long to go through. It's just a bunch of big things. Dollar uh, ninety nine. I bought this for one reason. My son, he still has Minecraft. And it is a cool game. There's a Minecraft figure in here. There's a Corvette. Definitely be donated. We donated all this stuff back that we don't need. Plastic Hummer. Just don't really need this stuff. But this is why. For two dollars. Ta-da! It's a zombie. I was wondering. These are not cheap. These are like seven to ten dollars in stores. So for two dollars, he's perfectly fine. There's even a little hot little car in here to boot. It is the Rentro Sport RS. Nice little supercar there. Uh, yet another knife. Oh, there's another. There's a monster truck in here. This looks like an older one. It ain't, but it, the body of it is a 51 Patrol. Cool, cool. It is Hot Wheels. You can see on the tires there. So that's a nice find. Got a dinosaur I can give to my best friend's daughter. She loves dinosaurs. There's a Jeep Wrangler Maestro. And a Toyota Celica. Don't see that too often. What a fancy car that is. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Toyota is a good car. Interesting toy. And a plastic fire truck. So, uh, onward. We got a lot more to go. Maybe some tag here. I like showing y'all tags just in case y'all are wondering. Uh, this was $3. $2.99. We see another monster truck. It is Hot Wheels. It's another puppy. Um, monster Mutt. Walt Robber. Hot Wheels. That will definitely go with my other monster truck. Eventually I will do a video with all these together. I think that would be pretty cool. Here's another Hot Wheels Magadon. All these rims and tires are really, I don't know. The kid definitely had some fun with these, didn't he? I can't complain. Or, yeah. Here we go. They just pop on and pop off, but there's another Hot Wheels monster truck. A nice knockoff caterpillar. Don't need that. There's a robotic dinosaur. Extremely dangerous. A big plastic dinosaur. Oh no! I'm having deja vu. We once got a bag of these a long time ago and all the tails were cut off. There's like 20 dinosaurs and all of them were nipped. There's a pony or a horse. There's an action figure. Um, He could be older. Uh, he got nipped too. His foot is chopped off. There's a plastic horse. There's a gigantic. I don't know who this is. Uh, 2012. I just don't know. Y'all know who he is? Looks like a knockoff Peter Pan. Alright, we still have two more bags. Now this was a freebie bag that was not in the video. I didn't think I'd 
would record it, but this was a good little a dollar. And uh, you'll see why I gave a dollar for it. Because uh, not so much of this stuff. Although it's interesting. It had a boat. It's these action figures. There's a Daphne. Or that's not real. I mean, that's Daphne. Half of my toy. But these are what I wanted to get. Action figures. I figured 50 cents a piece. Why not? So, uh, I love action figures. And couldn't just let them sit and rot. So, alright. Here's our final bag. And this has all kinds of stuff in it too. For $2.99. So this is like a monster truck video, pretty much. But there is some nice hot little cars. There's a Nerf gun. Ooh, we have a Pez dispenser. This is not old. 7.5. The lower that patent number, the older it is. I uh, got several hundred Pez dispensers. Dinosaur. McDonald's toys. That's frightening. Although he could be my mascot, huh? Big red bike. Looks like the Daredevil. With the stars and stuff. Oh, yeah. Speaking of monster trucks, we got Psychodelic. Hot Wheels. That's another gem. Wow, well, well, I do like that. <laughs> so, yeah, there's monster trucks in every one of these bags. There's a Hot Wheels trailer. What's left of it? Uh, G.I. Joe. But this is not the correct scale G.I. Joe that I like. Um, 2022. Looks like something from Star Wars. Definitely not old. It's barely a year old. Looks dirty. I don't know. There is a compass in here. And it's next level toy color. Yeah, I'd like that. Bugs Bunny's minion. A lot of happy toys in this bag. Now, uh, this is interesting. This all, I'm sure, goes together in some kind of form. <laughs> Dinosaur, half of them, I guess. Yo, Samity Sam, one of my favorite cartoon characters. The belt, just a lot more. I don't know if that's Happy Mill toy or not. But we got some more. Looks like Power Ranger. I don't know for sure. All kinds of other random toys here. Little bike. Nothing else really worthwhile. Uh, we do have Buzz Lightyear. And a screwdriver piece. Yeah. Please let us know what you think of today's haul. We hope you all like it. Uh, we will definitely be doing this a lot more often now. Thank you for watching Next Level Toys, and good luck, everybody. Goodbye.